solve this equation and squats minus six n of your resonance n minus three or squats minus nine and squats plus um can be written as um plus a half or squats minus a quarter by moving minus nine to the right hand sides of the equation we have minus a quarter minus ten plus nine which is equal to minus five over four now we multiply the equation by four and we can now write four times n minus three or squares equals four times m plus a half or squares minus five or can be written as two squares so the left hand sides of the equation can be written as two n minus six or squares and the right hand sides of the equation can be written as 2m plus 1 or squares minus 5. By rearranging the equation, we can now write 2m plus 1 or squares minus 2n minus 6 or squares equals 5. We have a difference of two squares on the left hand side of the equation. We know that a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b times a minus b. So by applying this, equation 1 can be written as 2m plus 1 plus 2n minus 6 times 2m plus 1 minus 2n plus 6 equals 5. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. 1 plus 6 is 7. As m and n are positive integers, so 2m plus 2n minus 5 and 2m minus 2n plus 7 must be factors of 5 is 1, 2m plus 2n minus 5 equals 1, 2m minus 2n plus 7 equals 5. It's 2, 2m plus 2n minus 5 equals 5, 2m minus 2n plus 7 equals 1. For case 1, we add these two equations. 2m plus 2m is 4m. 2n minus 2n is 0. Minus 5 plus 7 is 2. 1 plus 5 is 6. Now, we subtract the second equation from the first equation. 2m minus 2m is 0. 2n minus minus 2n is 4n. Minus 5 minus 7 is minus 12. 1 minus 5 is minus 4. So, 4m equals 4, which means m equals 1, and 4n equals 8, which means n equals 2. So, m, n equals 1, 2. Now, we verify whether this is a solution of the original equation. By substituting m equals 1 and n equals 2 in the original equation, then the left hand 
sides of the equation equals two squared minus six times two, which is four minus 12, which is minus eight. And the right hand side of the equation equals one squared plus one minus 10, which is minus eight. So the left hand side of the equation equals the right hand side of the equation. So um, n equals one, two is a solution of the original equation. For case two, we add the two equations. So for m plus two equals six. Now we subtract the second equation from the first equation. So for n minus 12 equals four. For m equals four. So m equals one. For n equals 16. So n equals four. So m n equals one, four. Now we verify whether this is the solution of the original equation. If m equals one and n equals four, then the left hand side of the equation equals four squared minus six times four, which is equal to 16 minus 24, which is minus 8, and the right hand side of the equation equals 1 squared plus 1 minus 10, which is minus 8. So the left hand side of the equation equals the right hand side of the equation. So um, n equals 1, 4 is a solution of the original equation. Now we have an additional problem. Solve this equation. P, Q are positive integers.